Rodriguez, who I was so close to know, but you have the folks that probably never heard of uh, Pico Rodriguez, one of the great Jamaican trombones who now lives in Spain. Uh, Chet, what made you want to make a film about Rico Rodriguez? Uh, well, first of all, I want to give thanks to you, Barbara, to Peter Gittings, to all the people who has made this festival possible, and to invite me to come here is a great honor to be here with all, all of you. Thank you. Why did you make the show about Rico Rodriguez? What was it about him that made you interested? Uh, well, I think Rico Rodriguez um, is, is, is so special uh, for Jamaica, I think, because his life is a parallel line of the life of uh, Jamaican music because he has uh, been in Alpha Boys School, he played the first Proto Ska songs, uh, he recorded them, uh, he, he played the Ska, he went to uh, UK to play uh, early reggae, he played two tone, he played with English people, he returned to Jamaica to record one of the best albums ever made, Man from America. He uh, then returned to England, he's playing with bands all over the world, in Japan, in Italy, in Spain, in Argentina, and he also played uh, in Barcelona. He came to Barcelona and he played with several bands of Barcelona. He played with uh, Soweto, Shantytown, Catalonians, Kinky Cuckoos, and, um, well, I don't know, he played almost all kinds of music of, uh, that Jamaica has made. So, maybe as he has moved to England, Maybe Jamaican people doesn't know a lot about him, but I, I, I think that, that Jamaica should know his life and his, his history. We're certainly going to know about it tonight. This is a man who says he doesn't speak English very well. Do you think that's true? No. Oh, you're good. You're good. Uh, I think so too. Thank you, Jeff. We'll talk to you after the film. Nice, nice. Love. Now we have three gentlemen who came all the way here from England. Um, we have Lisa. And we have Isa, and where's the third one? You made me say three, and where is he? Come on, come on, with your lovely t-shirts. Come on, stand beside me. I love these t-shirts. Well, first let me speak with you, Isa, because you're the man who's really the star. Tell us a little bit about the African safari and sea. Well, first of all, Sea for Africa is an organization, right? a new organization that recognizes the fact that when we talk about A for Africa, we are always talking about white aid. Um, it's, it's a known fact that we talk about people like save the children, Oxfam, etc. We feel that it's important that now there be a black run organization that offers major support to Africa. This is important because when, when we have a situation where it's always whites who are seen, I mean, I know that there are black people who offer support in one way or the other. But the world sees white people helping blacks. And I, I really feel that that has a negative effect on the psychology of Africans, not just on the continent, but on, of, on, on Africans worldwide. So it's important that black people now be seen to be supporting black people. Uh, now, so you made a film yes, to show that? Yes, we made a, we, we made a film um, to, to illustrate the need for this. And also, um, because we believe very much in, in the sense that we have got to do things for ourselves, we are not even a charity. We, we have produced uh, a DVD that we'll see, we'll see tomorrow. And this, uh, I'm sure when you see this, you know that this is something that is vital. And this, we, 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 are, we, we expect to be distributing this all over the world and to generate income that we can then use to support black people in, in Jamaica. In fact, we're actually going to start in Jamaica. So when we talk about Africans, we realize that Africans are not just on the continent of Africa. I look around here and I can see Africans. Yes? Well, we're going to see more and hear more. Let me have a word from uh, these two men. Maybe LA, LA, you'd like to do the interview. All right, um, well, the shirt and Barbara, I like the shirt them. you know, um, it's very um, sophonious, you know, um, up here you see um, the darning of the sun and then down here so uh, the, the white stripe and the black power, you know, um, so it's, it's a very artistic, you know, um, kind of shirt. Um, explain to me more about this shirt. Well, this shirt that we have on is just a promotion shirt. 
Got a real shirt that we're gonna give out to people that's even more sweet than this one. Yeah? <laughs> so I don't want them to want that, Sean. Yeah? I'm going to hear the people in the crowd about it. Yeah, they're really feet. So um, uh, what's your friend name now? Uh, oh, all this. Uh, you're from Africa or from England? I'm from England, yes. Uh, Bristol, uh, where? I'm in the Midlands. I was born in the Midlands. My mum's from Jamaica. My mum's born here. But she left here when she was nine, you see. And it's my first trip here. It's time for me to sort out my room. Well, um, I hope you enjoy it so far because Jamaica is a very um, powerful and a very nice country. Lovely, like Barbara is here. And, you know? <laughs> so, Barbara. Love you, love you, thank you. You know, in the meantime, while we're just talking here, I, I see a lot of empty chairs in the center and a lot of people on the edges there. Um, if you could leave the first four rows, um, could you fill up the back seats there so you can see? And there's a gentleman sitting down and I don't want to sit down. I see Mr. Carl Bradshaw. Would you please get up Mr. Carl Bradshaw and join us over here? Yes, Mr. Carl Bradshaw, over to your left, to your left. And there's another filmmaker I want to introduce you to. Come here, come here. Now there's nobody in Jamaica who doesn't know Carl Bradshaw, am I right? Carl Bradshaw has made every movie ever made in Jamaica. And it's really my pleasure to introduce him to you tonight. Carl Bradshaw is another of the official guests of the Reggae Film Festival. Hi, Carl. Well, it's so nice to be here for this grand gathering this evening. You know, um, as you know, we're moving into a new venture. It's not only sound anymore, it's sight. So, you know, the major progression is sight and sound. So, the filmmakers are the ones that are going to give you both visual and sound. So, it's a pleasant evening and I hope you enjoy today and the rest of the proceedings. Thank you. I have to ask a question. How is it you work it that you're in every film made in Jamaica? Give me an answer. Luck. It's all about luck. Some people say it's gangsterism, but I don't think so. <laughs> I think it's luck and uh, being at the right place at the right time and trying to maintain and put your best foot forward at all times. Thanks. Well, I want to tell you, yeah, I know LA got up to say to you, but Carl is in three of the films we're showing in the Reggae Film Festival. Three, and that's five! Oh my goodness, he's in five of the films we're showing in the Reggae Film Festival. Mr. Carl Bradshaw, you, your turn. Yeah, um, Carl, I, I don't, um, in case you never know, um, he's the one we call Ozzy. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people don't know Carl, but they know Ozzy. All right, um, you remember a few years ago when we met about Elshan, I saw he was jogging. Just with Barbara, the man fit. Yes. It's the man about eight that push up, but we couldn't do four. But athletics was his first thing, you know, before he even went into movies. He didn't know that. Now, Carl, um, remember, um, you're the man who met me stop eating chicken and those things, I stopped eating up fish, you know. Um, I don't know if you remember when, when we met about Elshan, some couple of years back. Yeah, man, look at him, speak like that, you know, Carl. So the pace are moving out, man kind of start looking and say, man, we're going to mention. So, we lock all them with the thing and I'm going to speak like that. Yeah, I'm going to start with that. Yeah, no, I'm just 29, you know, and trust me, what I'm going to say, Carl is extremely fit, proactively fit. Trust me, tell me what push up in the Carl. Well, I 